Today I explored the abandoned time capsule mansion of famous pianist Arthur Schnabel. Arthur Schnabel was born in 1882 and became one of the most famous pianists ever lived. He was known to be a genius man that made incredible music. Did you know I'm actually playing his music on the background right now? This was recorded in 1950, one year before he passed away. Arthur Schnabel was from Australia, but he had many homes in Europe, from England to Berlin, Germany, and many in Switzerland and France. And today I am gonna explore one of the lost homes of Arthur Schnabel still standing today. We even find his famous piano rotting away. With this being said, let's bring him back by turning the bell notification on all notifications. And I will give some of you a personal shout out on my Instagram at exploring and me. And with that being said, please enjoy this documentary of one of the last standing homes of Mr. Arthur Schnabel. So everybody, as you can tell, I'm in the middle of the rain. Huge buildings, one of the three or four buildings. So everybody, this place is a complete decay. As you can tell, there's so much decay. This castle is collapsing. There are some cool features left here, like the beautiful closet. I really like that. There's so much water damage. There's water dripping on my head as we speak. It's a pretty cool kitchen. But one thing I really like about this place is this big window. That's pretty cool. Wow guys, look at the inside, a lot of closets, you can tell those people used to be rich. So what I know is that this place got abandoned after a fire, so they just left it behind and after that just massive water damage. That took over this place and right now it's raining, pretty pretty crazy. So this room is really cool, there's still a piano, so this was like the grand main living room I assume. So there's a piano here on the ground, I wish somebody could renovate this, it's a shame it's laying here. Another thing I really like is the beautiful windows of this mansion or castle. And then the ceiling, one of the ceiling paper that's still left with golden plated, the ceiling is really cool. Obviously we're not going to be able to go to the upper floors, my back hurts too much to climb. But I really like this place, but I'm not going to be able to climb up because my back is hurting a lot from from this trip to here. But there are some really cool things left in this place. Really nice for pictures too. So be sure to follow me on Instagram as well, at exploringemmy. Here we see old details of the heaters. Again, the most floors here completely collapsed. There are still some cool fireplaces left. Um, big windows again. Really interesting, definitely really interesting. Maybe someday in summer I can go back and climb this to see the upper parts, but it's not gonna happen today. It's raining and everything, so. And this was the old stairway, and other than that, there's nothing much else left so this was the stairway up and the stairway down to the basement as well and this was the main entrance back in the days <laughs> with an old closet here laying down the other 
Yeah, the other parts are just completely collapsed because of all the water damage. It's a shame. It's a beautiful building, that's for sure. Yeah. Too bad. This place was once so beautiful. Looks like they stored wine here or something. But it is pretty cool that there's still windows, big windows there. Other than that, it's quite empty. If you guys like abandoned places and want to see more of the best abandoned locations in the whole world, be sure to press the subscribe button and also the bell button to turn on notifications for whenever I go live. Also, you can support my hard work by leaving a like or sharing this video on social media.